Hi and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So for today I thought I'd review Satellar Knights, what are their strengths and weaknesses and uh, I'm going to break down exactly what and how to play them. If you're interested in content like this, let me know. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials or do you just want to see me play? <laughs> I mean, it's both is fun. I like diving deeper into the deck, what makes a deck good and how to, what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses. You have to know uh, the decks really and you have to know basically as many decks as possible for you to be able to be the best player you can be but some people some people don't want to be the best they don't want to um, learn how to uh, play the decks uh, per se but they want to uh, actually just watch the replays because um, i mean i like to compare it to sports um most people want to just watch sports and that's really uh, fun for them and that's not there is nothing wrong with that um, that's that's fine. I do watch, do enjoy watching Yu-Gi-Oh as well, not just playing. But if you want to be the best, um, there are still some people who want to be the best, and I would still like to um, create videos for them. So yeah, it would really help <laughs> to to know what you guys want to watch even. So let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, without any further ado, let's hop into the video. So here is my deck list. Um, uh, you can play around, especially with traps, um, to see what works the best for you. Um, I like playing, uh, yeah, for the monsters part, you do want to have triple the neb. Uh, you can play without triple if you have only two, but really the optimal way is to play triple the neb, and that's. Uh, <laughs> That's a bad thing because it's a an ultra rare, so you have to go three times into the box. The good thing is that you do get triple fin this chain though um, in the box, and uh, you do want to. And the bad thing is that you want to have uh, Betlamis, who is in another box. Um, so yeah, that's uh, so you do have to have an ultra. Rare. The, the good thing is that they are in the uh, good boxes. So, um, yeah. Besides that, you can play whatever you want. If you don't have a Dweller, if you don't have a Malevolent Scene, if you don't have Herald, 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 yeah, you can play, uh, play some uh, else. The core of the deck is to have double Batlamis and double Deltros. I'm playing double Eunuch as I would I do like having more monsters and he is potentially the better um, from uh, vegan to have as you can send one uh, the neb to the graveyard and then you can revive it with Altair and yeah you can see you can see this is a prismatic Altair yep that's amazing so yeah um, the standard play is to with Eunuch, you can send one uh, Teller Knight to the graveyard. You do want to send usually a Dneb or a Vegan. And then with Altair, you can special summon from the graveyard. And with the Sky Bridge, you can target one Teller Knight, special summon one Teller Knight uh, from the deck, different from the targeted one, and then you can shuffle the other one back into the deck. So with Skybridge, you can have a lot of combos to special summon. <clears throat> so with Vegan, you can special, or with uh, Altair, you can special summon potentially. Uh, so you want to have two monsters on the field. And when you have two Teller Knight monsters on the field, you can go uh, into uh, the uh, Dark Teller Knight Betlamas, who who, like you can see, needs two level four Telonite monsters. And then you can detach one Xyz material, discard one card, and then just uh, put Deltros on top of it. So it's two, two uh, Teller Knights on the field, plus one card in the hand is basically a Deltros. 
and that is usually what you want that is usually your play um, sometimes you do want to ha to just go for dealt three monsters but usually you want to go for two because you're not going to summon that easily uh, triple monsters uh, you do want to have two alpha at least because you can just negate tons of stuff um, you do I, I think that two is uh, optimal because yeah you're not for the for the beginning of the duel you're not going to um you don't like losing your monster you don't like losing your monster because you can just get otk then if you negate or if um he just msts and books or whatever so i think that two alpha is optimal um then with the back row you can play around um whatever you want really I'm going to put one uh, floodgate instead of a void. You want one vegan because you can special summon it with Skybridge from the deck. It's searchable, and you do want uh, uh, because he su summons from the hand. Uh, Sirius, you do want one because you can reshuffle back your Teller Knights and draw one card, which is amazing. And with with him, you can go for a million turns literally you can just reshuffle and that's really the goal of the deck it's the to gain advantage by um constantly searching with the neb and constantly returning them back into the uh, deck so you you're building and building advantage um in the long term it's more of a grind deck and i really like that i really like that you can uh, grind it out that you can uh, constantly um it's not it's not very structured it's more like a fun deck it's more like uh you're you're going against your opponent really with most otk decks you just open up well um, mst once and malevolent sin and then you win with this deck you are more settled for a long game and for a, a tough match i really like that but that's really the weakness of the deck is that it is vulnerable to losing on the first turn and to get to get OTK'd by Animats and stuff. Um, so that's why we are playing Destiny Draw, uh, just because um, it it can help with uh, not getting OTK'd and stuff. Um, you can play double Kytroid instead of like one Eunuch and maybe one uh, Skybridge or one uh, Trap. But yeah, I like this. I like this build a lot. So yeah, to summarize, the biggest weakness is it takes a while to get rolling, get the ball ro rolling. But when you do get throws on the field, and when you get the ball rolling, and when you uh, start going into your plays, it feels amazing and it feels incredible how many combos you can do and uh, how many advantage you can get and to really grind out the op op opponent but yeah that's the the weakness is that um it's a bit slow it takes time to uh, build the board to create the the optimal board and uh, yeah it it can get otk so so the standard opener, what you really want to open is a Deneb or Eunuch or a Vegan or any of other Teller Knights plus a Skybridge and you do also want to have one trap, so a bit of a balanced, let's say. That's why uh, Teller Knights used to play balanced when it wasn't uh, back in the day when it wasn't nerfed. So yeah... Um, with that, you usually want to create a Deltros and then you're set up, really, because most decks want to destroy uh, cards, and that's how they get through to your life points, by destroying your cards. And uh, with Deltros, you can infinitely loop. He summons when he is destroyed, and then you can special summon, and that's not once per turn, you can special summon your Altair, Altair bring him back, and then he can do it again, and you're basically um, have ultimate protection if uh, he's just attacking and destroying. 
the bad thing is that you can get returned to the hand and there are cards that return you can get banished as well so that's why we have to have some form of um disruption and uh, for harpies who are bad matchup because they can bounce him back we do have a heraldry that's why i want to play him i'm playing a dweller which i didn't really use that much you can switch it up put anything really you can also put uh what's it called uh, maybe uh, maybe you can go for the utopia ray combo uh, maybe you can um maybe you can maybe you can what's it called uh, maybe you can uh, put one thunder spark dragon maybe you can put one bojente uh, tsukuyomi yeah that <laughs> that didn't sound right but yeah um it's a decent card not sure if you want to play it but yeah that's basically the deck <clears throat> i think i explained everything you needed to know um now i'm going to play like a couple of duels just to show you um the strengths and the weaknesses and how to play the deck really because it's not just uh it's not uh, enough just for me to talk here you do want to see it in action and i would recommend uh, that you start off just by playing it a bit maybe playing it against uh the against these guys in the dual world uh, because you can um you do you do have unlimited time so you can read the effects you can uh, get to know them a bit yeah that's the best best way really to to learn the deck it's by first you can l literally just watch them watch the gameplay and then after that you do want to kind of slowly get into the uh, combos like you don't have to invent the combos the, the combos really exist already so yeah <clears throat> So we do have a decent hand. Um, it seems like we're playing against... Uh, I'm going to add a vegan because we do have Altair. Usually you want to search for the Altair because uh, you can special summon your Deneb who is destroyed or we sent from the Alpha. And then you get another search. So, And you have double monsters so you can go for the Deltros play. But here we do have Altair so we're going to add vegan. And then with Vegan, we can special summon Altair, special summon the Deneb, and yeah. Um, with Alpha, we can negate something. We can negate something by sending the Deneb, and then special summon it with Altair next turn. But uh, it depends. It seems like we're playing against, like I said, Zane, who is... Uh, um, who is a bad matchup because it's an OTK deck. So now it could be a good time to negate. He does have two cards in the hand. So we are leaving ourselves vulnerable. But uh, if, if he does get a search, it's probably over. He can attack a million times. So we have to pray he doesn't have something to threaten us right now, this turn. If we do survive this turn, it's probably over because we do have a Deltros and yeah. And see, he didn't attack because we have a Destiny draw. And that's why we, we do love it, love it. So now we're going to our standard plays. Vegan into an Altair. Into uh, the Neb. We're not missing any delays, as you can see. Now we're going to add one Altair for the next turn. Uh, we can go for a uh, game here, actually. But um, I think it's better to uh, actually postpone it. Um, because Just because I'm afraid of the back row. It could be a drowning. And I'm going to show you now that it is... Maybe it's, maybe it's a cosmic or something, actually. But then he would have used it. So it's not a cosmic. We can assume that it's... Uh, it's really 
uh, what did I say? Um, a drowning, yeah. So I'm going to go for uh, Deltros or Deltros with the Betlamis. Um, Deltros with Betlamis seems fine. Yeah, why not? So um, now you see the, the standard play. If we have two monsters, we can go for um, Detach. And yeah, he scoops because he can. Uh, he probably knows that I'm going for the back row, and we have the whole board set up. So even if he draws something good, we have the advantage, and we can do it next turn and the next turn. So yeah. Uh, now I'm going to show you just the back row, just to see if it was a drowning, in fact. So it seems like it wasn't a drowning. <laughs> it was a bluff. Um, what bluff would it be? Um, I'm assuming it was a cyber load fusion, or um, um, or maybe a storm. Those two seem like the book. We didn't feel any delay. Maybe Harold. If he had Harold, he would have used it for the Deneb. So we can assume that it was a cyber load fusion or a storm yeah cosmic we uh, it, it could be cosmic but he would have used it for the, our other um for other other back row for sure we want to uh, try to be objective and try to see what how how the deck works and how it loses So we're playing against Thunder Dragons in this duel as well. Um, we have a much better uh, hand with Eunuch. We can with Eunuch. We can. Um, he doesn't have any lights in the graveyard, but he can just send it in in his turn. With the Neb, we can search, but with Eunuch, we can send it the Neb and search the next turn. Um, but with the neb we can search now for the and we can destroy the raiden so i'm going to go for eunuch we have a negate but i'm gonna send this we have a negate but we can't negate the levia near uh because uh, the roar is he has a roar as well so i'm going to maybe just go for a floodgate right and save the alpha. Um, I guess, yeah. Maybe should have said even um, he had. Uh, okay, we felt the delay. He has a veil. Uh, that's good. That's good, and that's also good to know. Um, but it's also good that uh, he he has one less card in hand to be a Levianir. <laughs> So yeah, let's see. I think we're... If he doesn't have a Levineer, we're set up with the Floodgate. We can survive, definitely. But if he has a Levianir, um, it can be a very big problem. Banishing one. Banishing two. Okay, it's not a Levianir. But it's not good as well. <laughs> he does get his plays now. He does special summon. He doesn't get a surge though. And he does special summon in defense. Um, so I think we're kind of chilling, I guess. Yep. And now we can get up into our Deltros. And we're basically chilling, right? Um, I think the better thing is to... Alta ear into a Deneb. A bad thing is we can't OTK him because he has a Veil. So do we play around Veil? We have to, I guess, because then he gets a pot of greed, really. <clears throat> we can negate the, the Veil next turn, so that's amazing. Um, uh, 
a good thing to know also is that uh, Altair, when Altair summons from the graveyard, your other Xyz monsters like Dweller and Heraldry and uh, Malevolent Sin, they can't really... Um, they can't uh, they can't attack i'm going to send a deneb i'm going to send another deneb special summon alt deltros now we can pop his uh, monster but we can also attack over him and we can't attack directly unfortunately this turn so we might as well just attack and not waste our materials and now we're chilling because of the whale <clears throat> he does have five cards in the hand um he doesn't have a light monster so even if he drew into okay lupine uh, with Lupine, what do we want to do? Do we save the Satellanite Alpha for the Avail, or do we uh, try something else? Or do we negate here? He can go into a Bouncer or something, but we can Floodgate. So I'm going to actually save up our Alpha. We do have only two in the deck. So um, I'm going to floodgate the bouncer or um, whatever else he makes with the level 6. Okay, now he he can get um, he can get lights in the graveyard, so um, uh, he can go for a um, he can go for a Levineer play. And if we floodgate, then he can go for a Levineer play. But then do we do that actually? Let's do that. His hawk is returning to the hand. Anyways, so he only gets to have two monsters on the field. We can pop one and OTK, right? Negating the alpha. Okay, we're going to pop the we're going to pop the um roar does activate, right? So yeah, that's a bad situation. Mm, we can also pop with another Altair. Um, hmm. do we just start swinging in? <laughs> um, or do we, we can even go for another, another Deltros, uh, destroy the dark, attack over Lupine, let's do that. I'm kind of YOLOing now, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but yeah, um, let's do this. We're kind of low on time, as uh, as always, as I continue speaking uh, <laughs> too much. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry up a bit. We do want to negate um, a veil, and hopefully he doesn't have other hand traps. But yeah. Um, Okay, it doesn't seem he has other hand traps. Now let's see if he's smart enough. If he... Okay, so he isn't, because now we, we do have lethal. If he didn't attack, he, he gets his plays, so yeah, 
Now he just loses. I'm going to summon an Altair who didn't activate its, its effect. And this turn, summon another Deltros and finish him off. Yep. I think this shows well um, the, the deck strengths. Like you see, we popped two cards on the field. We had a negate as well. So yeah, uh, he did misplay, that's for sure. If he didn't veil and if he uh, activated his skill, um, that would probably be too much for us. We do, we can, um, we can uh, get into the loop. We do, we did have double Deltros left on the field, so we, he wouldn't OTK us. But he does have like, uh, as you can see, five, six cards in the hand. And then draw another another two with uh, alert by darkness. He he would have tons of advantage, I guess. Um, so yeah, Thunder Dragons are not the best matchup. As you can see, we can win, uh, but yeah, we don't uh, we don't like playing too much against them. And yeah, that's basically it for this uh, for this video. Uh, let me know down below if you enjoyed it. If you like, uh, if you would like more tutorials like this. Uh, with other decks and uh, yeah if you do want uh, post me down below um, what decks <laughs> like um, I'm kind of going with the decks that I like a lot first um, at least when if someone post post down below in the comments I want specifically this deck please do this deck next then I will consider doing that and I like doing that but yeah, until then, if if no one um, if no one comments, I'm going to post the decks I enjoy making um, uh, first, of course. Um, and then uh, yeah, if you like the video, you know the drill: like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, comment and like and uh, upload and. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, do please subscribe. Um, that's helping really the channel grow. So I can make more videos like this. And uh, yeah. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.